Alright, how's it going everyone? Today we have a what to do in FIFA 21 and a top 10 tips for FIFA 21. Um, so this is just going to tell you how to get your best start and how to have the best uh, season of FIFA this year. Um, how to make the most horns with players, how to be the best player, and if you follow out these tips, there's a good chance you're going to be able to have millions of coins by halfway through the year, the end of the year, and maybe even an elite finish. Um, depending on how much time you put in and how good you are. So without any further ado, here it is. Now the first topic is FIFA points. Uh, so if you are going to spend FIFA points, the time is right now. So if you have FIFA right now, load them up and then save them until the web app comes out. Because if you buy FIFA points now, they carry over to the next game. And web app is the best time to buy. To buy a pack using FIFA points, even if it's a 7.5k pack because every player carries value. Even a random left back from the Bundesliga who is from a random nation, right? He's going to carry value. Whereas if you're opening them on release day or during team of the year, they're gonna be 200 coins. This time people, it might be 2K coins because of the advanced SPCs. Next is one to sell players. If you pack someone like Mbappe, there's, you have two options, and like a meta player like Mbappe or Ronaldo or Messi or Neymar, two options. You can sell them right now, and you can use the rest, you can use the coins you make to flip and trade your way to even more coins, which is what I recommend if you know how to make coins. But if you're not too confident in that, you can hold them, and then you can sell them later. Um, typically, the Thursday before the first week in league is when players have the most price. So if you're willing to hold them for that long, if you don't, if you aren't confident in making coins, hold them till then. But I recommend selling them right away, or at least yeah, selling them right away. Don't wait for release day because more players get packed. Sell them either in between from when you pack them before full release day, which is October 9th. Um, flipping is the next topic. Um, there's a multitude of ways where you can flip. Uh, there's low budget where let's say you buy. A gold rare OP player who is only worth around I don't know 2k um, and you buy him for 1700 coins you make 200 coins profit and you do that like 50 times a day you're making some good profit or you can buy you can look at someone's fluctuations and uh, you can sell them when you see them at a low point you buy them you sell them when they're at a high point it takes some skill but you'll get the hang of it it's very easy once you get the hang of it um so when it comes to playing if you do if you have ea access you want to play your 10 hours you don't want to trade you need to play squad battles you want to play rivals you want to get all those coins um and in the first few weeks you want to you want to just play the game because you won't get everything from flipping and trading if you're not the best trader in the world like a lot of your coins will come from division rivals or squad battle rewards it's a major part of the start of the game. Um, so after playing that, say since it's the other topic, the Rivals Rewards. For Rivals Rewards, you want to take tradable players because it's often they often carry so much value as mentioned before. So you want to take tradable player packs. Um, players to buy. Uh, at the beginning, I recommend waiting until full release day, October 9th. And depending on your budget, you want to buy some solid players, um, cheap OB players like Konate, um, Ben Yedder, um, Mbabu, those kind of guys. You want to buy them. Um, and if you have the budget at the start, if you want to buy like Ramos, Mbappe, Neymar, um, Ronaldo, you want to get them sooner rather than later. SBCs to do. If you want to do the advanced SBCs. Um, by the time the full game releases, probably at October 9th because so many people open packs then. Um, and player of the month can be a good idea if you have the coins. But sometimes they're just a coin sink, so I can't really recommend them all the time. Unless it's like a Timu Puki again, which is a very good value SBC. Investments. Um, ones to watch gold players. So let's say last year, I bought Lucas Hernandez, who... Um, was confirmed to be in ones to watch and here's an OP player for Bundesliga one of the few center backs there he rose a ton so you could follow that track 
it's a very good idea. Um, this year, someone like uh, maybe Chilwell, um, Ake, um, buy their gold cards and when their one swatch goes in packs and their gold cards out of packs, they'll fly. Uh, formations, um, it really depends on the year, but I often like 4 3 2 1, 4 triple 2, and 4 2 3 1 at the start of the game. Because uh, there's just balance, and then as a the game goes on, we could figure out the better ones. And finally, we're talking about the meta. Uh, you want to figure out the meta as soon as you can, um, just to decide how you want to build a team. Because if you're looking for an elite finish, even a top 100 finish, you want to follow the meta. Because that's unfortunately the way to go. Hopefully, this year there isn't as strict of a meta. But if you want to get the top finishes, you're going to have to figure that out and build your team, your formation, your players around that. So thank you all for watching. Hope this all can help you out. Drop a like and a sub if this did. And I'll see you all later.